Our story begins in the 70s. Elvis, feeling the weight of fame, devises a plan as grandiose as his stage persona. Operation Aloha from Graceland. With the help of some eccentric medical professionals and a convincing Elvis impersonator named Filbert, Elvis sets the stage for his own death. On that infamous day in August, Filbert steps into the spotlight. The world mourns, but unbeknownst to them, the real Elvis is jetting off to his new life. Destination? The Bermuda Triangle. Why? Because no one dares to venture there. It's the perfect hideout for a man seeking solitude. Living under the alias Elrod, Elvis finds tranquility in the triangle. His days are filled with fishing, Elvis-themed buffets, and the occasional gig as an Elvis impersonator. He even finds love again with a woman he affectionately calls Priscilla 2.0. But will he ever return to the limelight? Unlikely. Elvis is relishing his peaceful existence, far from the scrutiny of the public eye. And with the current state of the jumpsuit fashion industry, a comeback might not be as warmly received as he'd hope. Our tale ends here, but the legend of Elvis continues. Is he out there somewhere, strumming a guitar under a Caribbean sunset? We may never know. But one thing's for certain. The king never really left the building, or did he?